<clears throat> you know, <clears throat> nowadays, I don't really endorse a lot of people and, and it has nothing to do because I don't believe in them. I just, it's not something that I do a lot. What I actually would recommend more than endorsing is looking for people to write some recommendations for you on LinkedIn. Um, the endorsement feature has been around on LinkedIn for, for many years. Um, and there is value to it. I mean, there's specific, the algorithm looks at those skills, et cetera, and so forth. Um, but um, I, I would just encourage more the recommendations. And you can ask recommendations from uh, coworkers, friends, you know, your current boss, past bosses, clients, anyone that knows your work. And when you do ask for a recommendation, make it, uh, give them some guidance. Don't just say, Oscar, can you write me a recommendation? But instead, like, you know, if I was going to ask, you know, Victoria for a recommendation, hey, Victoria, you know, um, would you be open to writing a recommendation about, you know, my, my training uh, skills or my public speaking or a webinar? Just give her some guidance. Next is when someone writes you that recommendation, you have three options. Some, you can accept the recommendation as is, ask them to, for any edits, and number three, reject it. It doesn't have to, you know, you don't have to accept it. As far as you writing recommendations, you know, it's always good practice that, um, that you reach out to someone. In fact, that's a good comadre thing to do, right, is to write someone a recommendation that's in your network without them even asking you for it. Um, but you know, sometimes people will reach out to you. So again, there's endorsements. I don't really do much, but I'd rather uh, do and, and encourage people to do more recommend, uh, the recommendations.